Hello, my name is Fredrik Svensson. I am the CBDO of Red Pill Impro. And I'm here today to talk a little bit with you about the connectivity challenges of today for manufacturers. In today's market, there are a lot of various macro trends that are shaping the manufacturing market. Uh, one of these being that customers, like you and I, are using our mobile devices even more than we used to before, both for private and business-related buying decisions. And this is something that manufacturers also have to adopt to. Uh, they need to make sure that your, you need to make sure that your uh, uh, offerings and uh, report important information is available in a format that makes it easy to access from mobile devices. Furthermore, there is a growing demand for innovative products and services. A recent survey showed that 35% of the value generated by manufacturing companies of today comes from software and services. So that's also something that needs to be taken into consideration when you design your digital applications or digital uh, resources. You need to make sure that you have a 360 degree view on your customers, not only when they make their purchasing decision, but also when they use the product that you're manufacturing. And thirdly, 74% of CEOs listed operational efficiency as the primary driver for accelerating di digital transformation in initiatives. And this is, of course, to try to adopt to the, the global uh, business of manufacturers today. If you cre create a product in, in, in your region today, you might sell it in another region and you face the competition of uh, manufacturers that has a global business. And further to that, there's also industry pressure uh, on uh, IT for manufacturers. There's a lot of talk about Industry 4.0. You need to look at your supply chain visibility. Where are your products and when will they arrive at your manufacturing facilities? Uh, you need to look at phenomena like IoT, artificial intelligence and other smart products and, and the vast data that's being generated by those. And also for IT, there's an ongoing move towards the cloud. Uh, IT departments of today try to avoid uh, expensive, hard to manage on-premise uh, hosting environments and moving to the cloud instead, which increases flexibility for them. So all of this together creates a lot of work for manufacturing uh, companies, IT departments. And to further add to that, of course, there's a lot of things going on in the market in general today. Uh, people like you and I are being used to digital communication. We work from home. We make purchasing decisions quicker than we used to. We have access to a lot of information. Uh, there's virtual servicing happening. There's a lot of data being produced that we need to incorporate into our decision making and how to make this in a visible way. What this has meant is that uh, many organizations today, including manufacturers, have added a lot of various software. These are software as a service solutions, these are custom built applications, these are applications being added as a new requirement arises. So there's a large burden on IT today to integrate all these applications that we have um, implemented in our businesses. And surveys indicate that IT spends 80% of their time integrating, not innovating. And this is also shown in this graph. Uh, this graph tries to sort of give a, a view on the delivery capacity of the IT department of your organization, your manufacturing organization, and the requirements put on the IT department from your line of business. So the line of business and IT need to adopt to cloud, software as a service solutions, various mobile apps, uh, IoT things, bringing in a lot of different data. Uh, your uh, line of business wants to add artificial intelligence tools to, in, to um, interpret all this data and make some use of it. And, and to add to that, there's a lot of demand from customers or, or suppliers or other partners. And of course, this creates a large delivery gap comparing the delivery capacity of the central IT department towards what the business is demanding. So, to be able to decrease this gap, there is a need for a new IT operating model. We need to look at how can we create a model that makes it easier for the business, for the line of business, to 
work with consumption and innovation rather than adding new f new applications all the time to solve everything how can how can the IT work with enabling their assets the IT assets to make it easier for line of business to do consumption innovation themselves and looking at this furthermore what can be done is to try to create a marketplace focusing on self-serve where the line of business can find the resources they're looking for, whether it's data, applications, or certain functionality they're looking for, and make use of reusable assets instead of creating them all over again for each various or for each different project. And if we can create something like this, we will also create a feedback loop for central IT, so we know that when we develop a new function uh, that we can reuse, uh, or if there is a specific uh, demand or requirement for a specific capability or information, we can create a new reusable asset that more uh, departments can make use of. And working this way means that you can build digitized composable building blocks, and eventually they will let IT emerge as the business and innovation partner instead of just being the IT department of the or, uh, corporation. And to achieve this, you need to work with well-defined APIs that makes it easier for applications to exchange information with each other, to find information and to leave information. And uh, they also make it easier to build composable applications. And I will come back to this in the next slide. Because today, modern applications are composed, not custom coded. Whenever your line of business wants to add a new mobile app, uh, they don't have to uh, create that app all from, from, from scratch. They can just hire a very skilled uh, the graphical user interface developer that develops a very intuitive and innovative interface for your mobile app, and then that intuitive graphical interface can be filled with information from various applications underneath, if that information is available through APIs. So this way, of course, you understand that it will make it much faster to build these, this application than if you would have been able to, would have been required to create it all from scratch. This slide further emphasizes the opportunities uh, presented if you're able to create reusable APIs. For the first project, of course, you will have to build a number of APIs that are required to build the application you want to build. But for project two, three, fourth, and onwards, you might very well be able to reuse the existing APIs that you've already built and just add the additional information you require for this specific application. And by this, eventually you will be able to deliver projects much, much faster than if you, would have been if you would have been required to develop them all from scratch. So this, of course, presents a lot of opportunities. And I really urge you and your organization to look into how can we find a new IT operating model for the future. So how, if you want to do this, how do you go about? What do you require? Well, to start with, you need a, a platform with uh, capabilities that um, are required to create this. You, make it, you need to find a platform that makes it easy for you to both develop and, uh, and also to find APIs so they, that, that you're able to reuse them. Uh, you need a platform with flexible deploy option, options to make it future-proof. Might be that you want to de um, deploy it on-premise today but in the future, maybe you want to move to the cloud. Uh, and in the, in the meantime, maybe you require hybrid deployment options uh, so that you can sort of fulfill all the requirements of your related to security or whatever it is. The Anypoint platform from MuleSoft gives you this flexibility. It can be deployed both on-prem, hybrid, and in the cloud. Furthermore, the Anypoint platform contains functionalities like the design center, which makes it easier for, for, for your developers to design the API before they actually build it. It includes uh, runtime engines that makes it easy and, and possible for you to create the underlying integrations required to create the APIs. 
It, man it contains functionality to manage the platform, so you know how many are using your APIs, how many transactions are they generating, do we need to add more capacity to the platform and so forth. And lastly, it also contains functionality for API management, meaning that you can uh, make your APIs visible, you can uh, make it easier for, for your line of business or for external customers to find APIs and the information required. And you can also monitor the usage of these APIs, of course. Then, being successful with a move from a traditional IT operating model to a new IT operating model, emphasizing on reuse, you also need to work in a new way. You can't just merely add new technology. You also need to look at how, do, does my, how are my organization working, how is it set up, and what kind of methodology and tooling are we using. So to sort of emphasize this and to get the most out of the capabilities that the platform present, MuleSoft has also created standardized delivery models called Catalyst and the Center for Enablement model that puts an emphasis on how to make use of the platform. And of course, if you're a Scandinavian-based manufacturer, it might feel safe to have someone to talk to that's based near your uh, facilities or, or offices. Uh, Red Pill Impro is a uh, experienced system integrator. We have been working with uh, APIs and integrations for more than 15 years. We are premier partners of MuleSoft, actually the only one based out completely out of Scandinavia. Uh, that also means that all our experts are available here in Scandinavia, being able to work on site if required. And we have assisted organizations like Scania, Skatteverket, Veolia, uh, VGR and ICA with their transformation initiatives related to connectivity on the Anypoint platform. And we have also packaged our experiences and knowledge around this in ready-made delivery models. Uh, and these are packaged into API connectivity strategy um, deliveries and also innovative delivery concepts uh, to add to this. So does it work then? Well, I brought uh, a couple of examples on other organizations that has sort of embarked on this journey. And one example is ABB. They say that uh, through this new IT operating model and with the support of the Anypoint platform, we are able to onboard developers 80% faster than we used to. This is being done through a standardized API strategy, uh, and that helps with decreasing the developer onboarding time. They've also been able to increase the growth in development cycles, meaning that they can or it actually means that they have, they have completed 628 deployment development cycles in one year by running two deployments a day. And they've also been able to drive 25% faster speed of delivery on project engagements. The next case is maybe more well known or, or, or uh, very well known for us here in Sweden, it's the Arbetsmedlingen, or in English, the Swedish Employment Agency. They've also implemented the Anypoint platform with the assistance of MuleSoft and Red Pill Impro. Uh, today, the, to this date, they have built 124 APIs. They say that they have around 76 furthermore to build. And from project start in 2008, we have calculated together with them that they have saved 23 million Swedish crowns on implementing a new operating model focusing on reusing APIs. So without MuleSoft and without the support of, of, of Red Palimpro and, and, and the platform, Arvis would have been would have been required to build uh, 507 integrations. But through reuse and the Anypoint platform, they have been able to avoid to build 383 of these integrations, meaning that they've saved uh, in, in development time 23 million Swedish crowns. And breaking this down, it means that they've actually saved 60,000 Swedish crowns each time an asset is being reused. And putting this all together, counting in all the costs they had, they've had for the project, they've actually been able to save through this initiative, 9 million Swedish crowns. So if you think this is interesting, and if you think that your organization needs to look into how you work with connectivity and how you uh, address the challenges of the ongoing digitization, I would urge you to make sure that your 
API and integration strategy supports an, an accelerated digitization, because that's what I think we can foresee. Make sure that your organization has the platform capabilities and the methodology to support a new operating model for IT. And focusing on reuse will make it possible for you to increase the speed of innovation and also decrease integration costs. If you want to read more on this, uh, there's a lot of information available through the MuleSoft and RedPillInPro.com websites. Thanks for now and enjoy the rest of your day.